Coming to you straight from the Thunderdome in Cineraplis, Forsk, Minnesota. We're ready for a good game of MFL football, but we're here with a team that literally eats their opponents, so we may have to sell for carnage instead. Hey, that's what they paid for, Grim. I'm pretty sure they're okay with that. Remember, in the MFL, we encourage you to play with your food. He's probably lining up against you. The Grim Bay Attackers battle. The Purple Mutant Eaters. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. Hello once again, everyone. Grim Blitzrow here, along with Brickhead Mulligan. Huh? Hey, how'd your checkup go? Well, good news, bad news. Doc says I passed my physical. Oh, that's good. But I flucked my metal. Not too good. Well, I, it's 50-50. Better odds than I get in Vegas. Get a point. <laughs> and it's first and ten. <laughs> It's two yard run before he stopped. And that'll be second and eight to go. That's a killer. It was right there and then he dropped it. Ah, oh, scumbag is killing me in the fantasy league. Third down and eight. Nice pass. That catch is good for six yards. Don't do anything stupid here. Just punt the damn ball and play defense. And he booted a high arcing rainbow. The return man catches the ball and heads upfield. Oh, nice hit. And it's first and ten. Oh, with a monster hit! Well, technically, they're all monster hits, Grim, because, you know, they're all monsters. Point taken. Second down and five. And he held on to that one for a first down. And it's first and ten. Second down and ten. And he picks up eight yards on a strong run. Third and two. That's the way to move the chains. That's good for a first down. This game is all about momentum and killing. First down and seven. Kaboom! And the quarterback, it was a perfect pass, and he scores handily. Now, there are some who would argue that we should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. 
What, and kick the kicker's job in half? They'd just be called sinners then. Straight through the uprights. They need a good return here to set up the offense. He sets up for the return. Let's see if he can break one wide open. No, oh, what a great defensive play that was, Bricks. Kind of like your Aunt Bertha. This guy has some big balls. What a hit. Yeah, she does have a big pair, Grim. You're right. That pass was good for 10 yards. Second down, the size of Bricks Wiener. Hey! Sorry, partner. Oh, this guy just loves punishing the defenders. That's a first down. And it's first and ten. Nice run for five yards. Second down and five. That's the way to keep the chains moving. That was beautiful. And it's first and ten. an officially sanctioned NFL rule. <laughs> They're back up here on first, and they've had enough. The offense jumps on sides and attacks the ref. And the ref somehow escapes the onslaught. Here comes the penalty. First down and forever. And the offense jumps off sides to kill the ref. They say, we're mad as hell and not going to take it anymore. First down in a mile. Second down, and we've got to pick up at least half of this. In a fight between Kick Tongue and Godzilla, the player on Roy Grange would win. Well, this should be an easy chip shot extra point, but you never know with kickers. <laughs> right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. And it's first and ten. Oh, man, he really... And they run it for a couple of yards. And that'll be second and eight to go. Defense 
was there, but he still picked up a yard somehow. Third down and eight. will give them a first down. I don't know if they're his, but he sure has a good set of hands. I thought the only tie we'd see would be a noose. Instead, they're in a dead heat. Tie game at the end of one. And it's first and ten. And he put on the afterburners after that catch and scored. Nicely done. Mistakes here, just kick the ball through the upright for God's sake. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuffed burrito from Taco Hell. They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one time thing. First and ten. And like a monkey trying to fuck a grease football, he gets away in a hurry. Second down and long. run right there, Bricks. They sure fucking did, Grim. They sure fucking did. And that'll bring up third and one. Just keep pounding the ball right up the gut and you'll tire these guys out. First down. And it's first and ten. Good thing they don't have drug testing in the NFL, because whenever they juice that player with his cleats are caked in blood and guts, and he's looking to score. Mistakes here, or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room. The kick is good. Man, as expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. Here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were gonna tell me a story like, here's the kicker. When I turned on the light, it wasn't a brawn in my bed, it was a chip wearing a wig. You ever get hit in the head with a boat all grim? Nope. Well, I have on several occasions. Not surprising. Multiple times on each occasion. Not surprising. And trust me, that hit was worse. First down! And it's first and ten. Playing, a guy hit me so hard, I went into a dark tunnel. Thought I saw my grandparents waving at me in the light. Turns out it was just the visitor's tunnel that he knocked me into, and it was the paramedics waving fingers in my face. First down and nine. He picks. 
Bucks up five on that play. And that'll be second down and four. Second down, and the offense says it's time to put the ref out of his misery. Second down in a mile. He caught it, and nothing was going to stop him from getting into the end zone. Except maybe self-doubt, but he seems to have worked through it. See that boot, baby? I'm the greatest. No, you didn't see it because you're too fast. <laughs> Well, a little chip shot here, extra point, but this guy could blow it. Straight through the uprights. When you get knocked down, you got to get right back up and fight. Uh, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. Sends him to the ground with an exclamation point. And a well-placed cleat. And it's first and ten. And he snatches that one out of the air for a first down. See if they can get something going here. And it's first and ten. Oh my gosh! The defensive play looks like he... Boom! And he's dead! Oh, bingo! 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 I got bingo, Grim! The 30. He's in the 20. The 10. And he scores! And they line up for the extra point. It's good. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. First and ten. That's a six yard gain. The quarterback calls a timeout to stop the clock. They have two left. And that'll be second down and four. First down, you know, Bricks, a lot of people have gotten pass happy in this league. Nice to see some old school. The quarterback is controlling the clock right now like the clock is into it. He just cock blocked the clock. And it's first and ten. Yeah, you 
And that's the last time out. They can't stop the clock anymore. Can any of us really stop the clock, Rim? I mean, when it comes right down to it, are we not all united by the constant reminder of our own mortality? Of death's constant, relentless advance? If only it was as easy as telling them time out to stop our own clock. And he zings it in there for a nine-yard completion. They're moving the ball now with authority. And the offense goes into their two-minute drill. Which coincidentally happens to be Brent's match stooping time. That's why the girls call me Speedy Gonzalez. And he reels that one in for a first down to keep the drive alive. Yeah, you think you can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with me? Well, you mistaken, man. You get up in my grill, I'm gonna ruin your world. I'm gonna wreck it. And it's first and ten. And he catches it for a touchdown! What a beautiful play! Yeah, it's almost poetic, man! Like a haiku! Yo, man, nobody can touch me when I ball. I take all you mutants out. That's right. What you talking about? I feel like I've been here before! Is this deja vu? This is like our bazillion season, dumbass. Actually, I think he's talking about the time warp dirty trick that the defense just played. Still a dumbass, though. Okay, nice and easy like a two-foot putt. You miss two-foot putts all the time, Grim. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuffed burrito from Taco Hell. Let's see if they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever. First and ten. Oh, no, it's the sticky ball dirty trick. The defense pretty much turned the ball into a yo-yo of doom. Did you ever think you'd say that, Grim? A yo-yo of doom? No, my friend. I didn't. I love this job. I am a yo-yo son The second quarter comes to a close as the teams head for the locker room, and we take you to halftime. Brought to you by Monsatan Industries. We make genetically engineered food that is to die for. It's the start of the third quarter, and we are set to go, Bricks. Oh, boy! Where are we going, Grim? Our carnivals? Huh? I'm going to go to a strapeze show. Where are we going? Read it. Read it. Hey, why don't you settle down? Just pet your rabbit, Lenny. Just pet your rabbit. The teams are lined up for the kickoff. They're going to be able to return this one. And it's first and ten. up about six on the play. And that'll be second down and four. Oh, and he just turns ginormous. Look out! And he fumbles it, Bricks. That was a screwed up play if I ever saw one. Oh, with the brutal hit!
Jones called a time warp dirty trick, negating that play completely. The offense is pissed. Well, I wish I had that trick in the oven with me earlier. I let one rip. I made a really good one, Grim. And then the doors open and the team cheerleaders get on. <laughs> That's when small talk is really put to the test. First down. He was not going to drop that one. They need to make him a target more often. And it's first and ten. Nice pickup for six yards. And that'll be second down and four. point attempt the kick is good as expected those are pretty much just gimmies when you give up points you need to get them back here comes the kickoff let's see if they can make them pay First and ten. Freud rage. How do you like your brain? Scrambled or fried? Talking about Butterfingers, he should have had that one. Second down and ten. A nice run there for eight yards. Third and two. And he stayed with the receiver and deflected the ball. Well, here comes the punting unit. You know, punters really do know how to party, Bricks. Yeah? Oh, yeah, I have pictures that, uh, well, maybe actually shouldn't discuss this on here. First and ten. Hey, man, you see that? That's right, you can't handle this. You can't handle what I got. Yeah, get the hell out of here, man. Second down and more than the QB would like. Maybe the QB should throw it and catch it, too. Third down and, well, good luck. Turn here to set up the offense. And that's a returnable ball. Returnable? You mean he can get a refund for it? No, no, Bricks. It means he can return it for. You know what? Never mind. And it's first and ten. 
defensive players go berserk. They've been known to rip the heads off of enemy. Oh, man. Bricks, you got to love a player who goes down fighting. The offense is down to their last two linemen. Once they're gone, it's game over. Yeah, who cares? Linemen suck. They don't even deliver any fantasy points. Second down and five. Team last week, I lost so much money on him. Not to mention my kneecaps. My loan shark is very anal about collecting my money on time, Graham. First down. Give this guy a few catches and watch his confidence take off. Hey, man. He is deadly in the open field, Bricks. Hey, all you mutants out. That's right. Hey, what you talking about? Huh? And it's first and ten. Picking up seven. Third down and, well, good luck. The quarterback goes down. Zoom on his face. I want to see if he's crying. Punt. Wow, wow, you the offense fakes the punt. Ouch! What is this? Andy's wrestling? And it's first and ten. a grab for five yards. Second down and five. He is fighting for every yard. And he shoveled his feet so well on that play. He should go to lost wages and deal cards. First down. And it's first and ten. The third quarter has ended, and we'll need a huge rally or a high death toll to make this one interesting. And it's first and ten. Seven. Touchdown! Oh, he ran through those defenders like a greased turkey. See that, 
Malibu, baby. I'm the greatest. No, you didn't see that because I'm too fast. <laughs> Don't make any mistakes here, or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room. It's good. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. First and ten. You ever get hit in the head with a boat all grim? Nope. Well, I have on several occasions. Not surprising. Multiple times on each occasion. Not surprising. And trust me, that hit was worse. Well, it looks like he wanted to run before he caught it. You gotta keep your eye on the ball. Come on, you dirtbag. You gotta make that catch. Third down and ten. Whoop. One speed. Engage. Man, guys like a freight train. Nice pick up there for a first down. First and ten. Oh, he just got crushed. And it's first and ten. Ten yard pick up there. Normally a first down, but here he's just making up ground. Yeah, like the way the commission makes up news. Second down and in inches. And that's a run for no gain. And that'll bring up third and one. And he's able to grab that one somehow and hold on for the first down. This guy has a nice set of hands, Grim. It's the third set of hands he's had so long today. Looks like it's a good fit. He blasted and picks up seven yards right there. Second and three. Oh, and did he just put on a display there? Touchdown! What? Come on, man, you can't hang with me. You get my grill, I'm gonna ruin your world. You understand me? Well, this should be easy, but with kickers, you never know. Straight through the uprights. Let's see if they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever. And he picks up maybe four on that play. First and ten. Whoa. All right, don't get covered your ears, Briggs, because that was a Sonic Blast dirty trick. That ball just broke the sound barrier. No, thank you. I already had some. Why did the defenders fall down, though? Was that a Sonic Blast? I got <laughs> it. 
Second down in a very lot. And the defense just called the ginormous dirty trick. That's a nice gain of about seven yards on that run. Third down and eight. shot extra point but you never know with kickers <laughs> it goes right through yeah like a double stuff burrito from taco hell they're looking for a good return after giving up points let's see how they do yeah let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing First and ten. <laughs> Nicely done for a first down. Yo, man, nobody can touch me when I ball. I take all you mutants out. That's right. What you talking about? The quarterback goes into a hurry-up offense. He's looking for a quick score. Aren't we all, Quinn? Aren't we all? Second down. The offense calls a timeout. This is why you save your timeouts. You can use them in the two-minute warning. Now I get it. Makes sense, Grim. In a hurry-up offense, there is no huddle, so neither team can put their players on the bench. And nothing was going to stop him from getting into the end zone. Except maybe self-doubt, but he seems to have worked through it. And they line up for the extra point. Straight through the uprights. Looks like they're lined up for an onside kick. Uh, I thought they were going to do some sort of chorus line. And it's first and ten. Functioning brain cells before that hit. They're gone now. He's going to have the IQ of a rutabaga after that hit. The defense has to make something happen here with one timeout left. And it's first and ten. And he breaks away. Oh, with the punishing hit. And defense burns its last time out. You can't take them into the locker room, so you might as well use them now. Why would you want to take a timeout into the locker room, Grim? That doesn't sound right. And picks up maybe a deuce at most. Uh, speaking of deuces, I got a, uh... <clears throat> hey, you got a dollar for the bathroom attendant? He threatened me if I didn't tip him next time. First down. Yeah. 
And he lines up for the field goal attempt, trying to ignore the defensive threats of murder. The Mutant Eaters go home hungry and defeated today. It was close for a while, but in the end, it was just too much for them, and they couldn't get it done. Sounds like your wedding night, doesn't it? Hey, they got pills for that. You know that commercial where they show a mummy getting a boner? What the hell are you talking about, Bricks? I don't know. I get confused often. I'm on a lot of painkillers. Well, moving right along, let's hear what the MVP has to say. Yeah, you see that little baby? No, you didn't. You know what? I'm the greatest. The greatest, I tell you. Grim Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. and all the folks at Evil SN want to thank you for watching this presentation of the Mutant Football League. Today's game was brought to you by Comcrack Entertainment. They're not happy until you're not happy.